is soon approaching and I've got to prepare something special for the kitties that are coming for candy. I hope that you will stay tuned to see what I have in store for them when they come for their goodies. I hope that you'll stay tuned to watch because it's going to be so much fun. I can't wait for that day as I sit outside waiting for them to come for their goodies. Will you please stay tuned? I hope that you'll press that little red button in the bottom and subscribe to my channel. I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video or else. Stay safe out there, friends. Let's go get these projects ready for the little ones. Let's go. See you soon. See you soon. the things I might use for this project. These are all from the Dollar Tree, you guys. Got a black bucket which I'll use as my cauldron for these kitties. Doesn't she look lovely? I'm kind of jealous of her. I might use her, maybe not. This little image of myself here. <laughs> I think eyeballs will be very nice to mix in with the candy this year. And some Dracula, vampire teeth, and this wicked sign. And oh, look what I made. I was able to paint this witch from a little wooden plaque they sell at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> I think it's just adorable. The kitties will just love it. Some hot glue and batteries for these two light little fixtures I bought. That and this I would like to make sure the kitties are seeing what they're getting into. So. Let's get started. Don't forget about the spiders. They're so beautiful. And also, I got this skeleton arm I might use. Stay tuned, you guys, while we get working on this awesome Halloween craft. Hi, guys. What did you think of that awful witch? I'm back. I bet you maybe you'd rather have her than me. But anyway, I just did that for fun. I hope you enjoyed The Wicked Witch. But I'm getting ready to start on this Halloween DIY. This year, I decided that I'm going to put the candy in a bucket outside and have little bags ready so the kids can just come and pull out one of the little bags. And I thought it would be better than me handing out the candy or letting them stick the candy, I mean, stick their little hands in my, you know, candy um, jar or whatever. I thought it would be safer and so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to prepare the little bucket for the candy and, um... Yeah, so all, like the witch said, all the items are from the Dollar Tree and I hope that it looks good. I was able to do this little project the other day. They sell these wooden little de uh, design decors and so I just painted it and I glued this wicked sign on it and I think that's really pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my container that I'm gonna prepare for the kids. And these I want to put in the bottom so that there's light in the container. And I'm really excited to get this ready for the kiddos. I'm planning to dress up as the witch and sit out there and wait for them as they come to get their candy. So I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. And so I hope you'll join me and that you, I will see you in my next video. 
thank you guys for watching thank you for my new subscribers i am so so grateful and i hope that you will continue to be a part of my channel so let's get started let's get started okay so first of anything i'm gonna go ahead and start putting the batteries in these little light fixtures that i bought i'm getting my hot glue ready uh, to be hot let me see if I could move you down some so you could see a little bit better. Sorry if that's making you dizzy, but um, I just love this wicked sign, which is uh, just so you can stick it in the ground, but that's not what I'm going to be using it for. I'm actually planning to just use this part I'm going to use this part as well but I'm going to be cutting this I don't need it to be this large and so I'm gonna go ahead and put the batteries in these little light fixtures and we will be right back okay so I've already removed the stick that you put in the ground that came with this sign. It was, well, you, I think you saw when I broke it off. And I was able to break it to the size that I wanted just with my bare hands. It was really easy. And what I'm going to do, because I don't want the cardboard color to show here. I already painted a little bit of it. I'm gonna get uh, any kind of black mar magic marker and I'm going to paint the edge where I broke off the sign. So just that it looks all black, you see? How it has the cardboard showing through? Well, I'm just gonna paint that black to make it less noticeable. See? And so that's all that I did for that. And I decided that I am going to use this little piece. It doesn't matter that um, the cardboard shows in that end because you're not gonna see it. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna glue this wicket. You can decorate your bucket any which way that you like. I'm going to put this wicket sign right here in front of the bucket. And first, I'm going to glue this piece of the other part of the stick to the back of the sign so that it's out a little bit more and it makes it easier for me to glue it to the bucket. So, just like that. I'm gonna let this dry really quick and This part of the stick, I'm going to use it to place it over the bucket this end and then on this end. This is what I'm doing. I'm putting glue on both ends where I'm going to stick it to the bucket, like so. And I'm just gonna let that dry. I put a lot of glue so it might take a few minutes to dry. I went and I went ahead and I put the batteries and the little light fixtures. I believe this is used for pumpkins when you carve a pumpkin and I'm gonna use it to place it inside of the bucket so that it lights up. And I'm going to use this one so that it lights up as well. And I thought this little witch was adorable because it is a motion activated witch. So anytime the kids get close to it, guess what? It's going to light up and it's going to laugh like the witch. So that's what I'm going to do with this. And so let's see if this is dry. Yes, it's almost dry. In the meantime, I'm going to start putting the glue back of the sign. And you wanna be real liberal with the glue. And I'm going to place it right in front of the bucket. Wait for that to dry as well. 
Okay guys, so the sign is glued to the bucket and so is the stick. It's glued to the bucket as well. Now I wanna get the little battery pack from the lights and I'm going to glue it to the back of the bucket like so. I'm going to put plenty of glue in the battery pack since it's a little bit heavy and I'm going to hold it in the back of the bucket until it's completely dry. Battery pack is completely dried to the back of the container where I'm going to be placing the candy. And now I want the, I want to bring the lights along the side of the container where it won't bother with the um, kids putting their little hands in here to get the back. And I'm going to be gluing the little lights so that they don't move. I'm gonna put a tiny little dab of glue in the light so that it stays where I want it to. Okay, and I'm gonna hold it. I'm sorry if you can't see, but see that? I'm gonna hold it in place until it does stick, like so. Okay, to continue to do that. And I'm, and so the, the little electrical cord from the lights, the battery cord is in black. So you're not really going to be noticing that very much, but I'm gonna continue to glue the little lights toward the front of the container, putting a little dab of glue and then just holding it in place until it's dry like so. See, I hope you're able to see that. And here how it's looking so far. If I turn on the lights, you'll be able to see. The battery pack is back here. Let me turn on the little switch. Okay, and they're like orange lights. So let's just take the next one and just put the tiniest dab of glue, very small amount, and just hold it next to the other one until it sets. And it just barely takes a couple of seconds. And there it is. Okay, my friends, so the lights are on. I'm gonna turn them on right now. See that? And what I want to do next is there are some of the little cords hanging from the back, from the bottom. I don't know if I can, wait, let me turn off the light. Maybe you could see it better. Okay, so do you see the little cords that are hanging from the lights? I found some black electrical tape that I have and I've cut some pieces and I am going to try to put some electrical tape to hold those little cords up. And I'm bringing up the little cords so they're not hanging down because I'm afraid that when some of the little ones come and put their hands in here to take their little bag of candy that they may pull on the cord accidentally and just the whole thing will fall apart. So I guess this is optional, but I just thought of doing it now to get the cords out of the way. And it's working really well. The tape is holding all the cords up. And I just have this one more. There. So all the cords are out of the way. Okay. You know the little strings of hot glue that, that appear when you pull the gun? They sort of help this craft. <laughs> they look like little spider webs. Okay. So there we go. And this is what I have done so far. Next, I am going to get the purple spiders. 
which I took out of the bags. And I'm gonna be gluing these right over the ears of this bucket. And let's just see which is the best way to do that. I think I'm going to do it this way. The spider, and I'm going to put some glue in the areas that are gonna touch the bucket. Blow on it a little. And just hold it in place. And I'm gonna go ahead and glue the other spider in the other air in the other side and I will return. Okay my friends and this is what we have so far. I think it looks really nice. I think the kids are gonna get a real big kick out of it. So the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to glue the wick on top of the piece of wood that I put in the back with the lights in front of it so that when the lights are on, it will look really spooky. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do next. And I'm going to turn this around all along the bottom of the witch. And then I'm gonna hold it in place like so. until it's completely dry. Let me turn these lights on. Isn't that awesome? I love the way this is turning out. I still have to go buy the little candy bags, the Halloween candy bags and the candy. But as I place them inside this bucket, of course, I'll be refilling them as they empty out because the witch will be sitting next to them with some spooky music. I am going to throw these eyeballs and the Dracula teeth, vampire teeth, loose all around the inside of the bucket. And that's it. Look, it's really firm in there. And... Maybe I'll just put this skeleton arm sticking out the side of the bucket. That might look good. And what do you think about this hand sticking out the side of the bucket? Or maybe from the inside out this way. Yes, I think that would give it a really nice touch. To the skeleton hand and place it on the side right here. I'm going to set a table outside on Halloween day, a little round table that I have and I'm going to place this bucket with all the candy bags inside. When I get the candy and I prepare the bags and I put it in there, I will show you what it looks like. It looks really good. And so this little witch, whenever the kids come close to the candy, will start crackling just like that. So let me turn this camera around so you can see what this looks like. And here it is, you guys. I love the way the kitties are going to get their candy this year. All the treats will be inside this container with eyeballs and vampire teeth. And I glued the other Wicked Witch's sister right next to her to watch the kitties get their candies. I hope they won't all be left in there because they're too scared to come to the Wicked Bowl. Happy Halloween, you all, and please subscribe to my channel if you dare to be wicked. <laughs> Happy Halloween.